Can I apply for the Japanese board exam? Hi, I'm Dr. K from Med Insider Japan. I'm a native Japanese, graduated from European med school. I'm sharing information for foreign doctors who want to work in Japan. Today, I'd like to tell you about the application to the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare. This is the first step if you are planning to work in Japan. They want to know if the medical education you had is equivalent to a Japanese med school. You need to submit many documents like a graduate certificate, CV, academic transcript, copy of passport, etc. If you didn't go to secondary school in Japan, you also need to submit a certificate of JLPT N1 as well. The ministry checks your documents and gives you either one of the three results. One, congratulations, you can go to the next step, the medical Japanese proficiency test. Two, you need to take preliminary board exams and bedside training for one year. Three, unfortunately, you are not eligible to take exams. When I applied in July 2020, I made an appointment by phone call and visited the ministry because you can't submit documents by email. It was my first time visiting ministry, so I was a bit nervous. When I arrived, I told them the purpose of the visit to the reception and they gave me a security card to enter the building. My friends advised me to wear a suit and tie, so I followed his advice. Submitting documents went smooth. They checked the documents I brought in and accepted everything. It took about 30 minutes or so. One month later, I got a letter which says I can take the medical Japanese proficiency test. Unfortunately, I don't really know about the preliminary exams and bedside training. Please leave comments if you know about them. Thank you for watching. I'm going to upload more videos. If you thought it was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you.